I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you know this. I think that's gonna be actually the, the, the cold open. That's what it is. Welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn show. Uh, I am Kitchen. I'm Jorn. And uh, today we're doing a very special video. A very special, sensuous video featuring my favorite lover that I think is burning right now. The oven? Cheese. Cheese. The the, cheese. Oh my god. Today, we are going to be trying every cheese from Aldi, Aldi. of which there are 41. I, I think there are 41. But we're gonna eat all the cheddars together, all the breeze together, all the herbatis together, et cetera, et cetera. Otherwise, this would be a really boring video. You say it wouldn't be, I promise you it would. If this is your first rodeo at the Kitchen and Jorn Try Foods, we rank everything on a scale of just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely suck, Penalty, Penalty box, box bad. bad! We're actually going to start with the fondue made from Gruyere AOP, Emlantel AOP, and Rucklet. Oh, wow. That's really good. We've had to make our own fondue that's tasted about as good as this. So, yeah. and making your own fondue <laughs> is a pain. It feels like we're pretty on board this with this. This is really great. Wow, okay, so the fondue cheese from Aldi. Really great! Really great. Well, it sounds like today is going Gouda. Can we bring to the arena the Gouda category, please? Yeah. We've got the Gouda cheese. A thousand, a thousand day cheese. aged Gouda. Scorpion pepper Gouda cheese. Smoked Gouda cheese. Here, have some Gouda. Okay. This is the regular Gouda. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like them. It's pretty mild, but yeah, I, I like it. That's fine. This is the thousand day Gouda. You don't like it? This is delicious. It's a little too much for me. Mmm. But I also am not the biggest fan of strong cheeses. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. Cool. This is the scorpion pepper gouda. Less sharp, but spicier. I like it. This is delicious. It is spicy. Okay, this is the smoked gouda. No, this sucks. I don't like it. it you bad. can tell it's smoked. There's a smoky flavor, but it's like you could it's smoke. kind of overpowering. Yeah, you could smoke Play-Doh, but it's still, you know, the fun toy we all grew up with. I think uh, this is your really great, this is my really great. Yeah, I would say that's accurate. And then as overall, I would say that the Gouda category is pretty good. Uh, these two are bullshit. These two are great. Let's try the Gruyere. Let's try the Gruyere. A little dry, which I guess Gruyere mm. is not necessarily. It's supposed to be. This is good Gruyere. The Emporium selection, thank you. Yeah, oh, by the way, these are all- uh, Aldi owned these brands. These are all Aldi owned brands. All right, this is the Gruyere plus cheddar situation. Okay. I think this is mostly cheddar. It's mostly cheddar. Oh, cause it says a rich cheddar cheese with notes of Gruyere flavor. Yeah, no, no. no. Yeah, come on. Cheddar wearing a scarf. But the category as a whole, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. So the cheddars, we have a cranberry white, a white cheddar, a vintage English cheddar, a four year cheddar, so it has its degree, mm -hmm. a double smoked cheddar, an artisanal cheddar, and a mild Irish cheddar. Let's try the cranberry white cheddar, because that just seems the most fun. Hmm. I think this is good. All right. All right. Yeah. This is a double smoked cheddar. You can tell, yeah, because it smells like bacon. Just like, do do you feel like cheese doesn't taste enough like meat? May I recommend? Yes, it's incredibly savory. All right, white cheddar. I'm dreaming of a white, white cheddar. Just like the one I ate last week. I hate it. It no, tastes disgusting. like, Bye. does it kind of have like a sweet aftertaste too? It tastes like a sweet ass sock. Okay, so now we're trying the, av not your average cheddar, the Australian gluten-free grass-fed cheddar cheese. Mm. That's great. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I don't think I like cheese that much. I love it. I think it's good. Are you discovering like six cheeses into this that you don't like cheese that much? Well, maybe. Sorry you don't like cheese. It's okay. I, there's other things in my life that are good. I know, but it's not this video. <laughs> Four year aged cheddar. Okay, this tastes like licking a f***ing drain. And the mild Irish cheddar cheese. I think I like this because I realize mm. it's very mild. And with cheeses, that's what I'm more into. A mild, mm. less in your face taste. Last this is cheddar. the vintage English cheddar. Eat your cheese. Oh, you're down. Oh, thanks. No thanks. I like it, but I like a sharp cheese. I, I appreciate this is mild and the Irish one is mild and creamy. I appreciate the English one is a little sharper. You know, cheeses have personalities, okay? They're not all the same. Some are bad. <laughs> some leave the toilet seat up, some bring you flowers. I would say these two were my favorite, the Australian and the Irish mm -hmm. one. I think the four year age Gouda can kick fucking rocks. Yeah, cranberry cheddar was decent. But overall, eh, just okay. The category is Brie. Brie. Reading you. Reading you, Brie. She can't hear me. She 
All right, the first brie, which is the I don't know, double cream brie. It's boring. This cheese is boring. A brie should be luxurious, it should be creamy, it should be worth your money. It should feel like you put something in your mouth that belongs in your mouth. We're gonna try the other one. Okay, this brie tastes better. Mm, mm hmm mm. I can't tell what the difference is beyond this one's in a box. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of a, Mm -hmm. It has that, it has that, yeah. Whereas this is just kind of like an old shoe. This one is pretty good. This is a new shoe. The next brie we're gonna try is one that had to be baked and it got honey and pecans. The honey seems to have soaked into the brie. So that could, that could actually be really good. Yeah, or it could be, or it could be weird. The nuts and the honey do nothing. They've just kind of disappeared. Yeah, they're just kind of like, it's like if you wanted to like season your food, so you like dumped a bunch of Legos on top of it. And you're like, it's colorful and texture. I think this is just okay. And I think rounding out the brie category, the brie was just okay. People are gonna be like, why didn't you have brie? Try the brie. Brie's in a she meeting. She has a job. <laughs> She's in a meeting. That's why she didn't try the brie. Okay. If you gotta go Aldi brie, box brie's good. The other two, send them back to hell. We're gonna do Parmesan. Parmesan. This cheese is actually traditionally found in the Parmesan uh, uh, region of France. That's That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Uh-huh, yeah. And actually it was discovered by Santa Claus in the year 1965. Yeah. You got me. I don't Parmesan, know. it's Italian. Have you not ever seen The Sopranos? <laughs> Have I not seen The Sopranos? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like it. This, so. is, a, this is a bad time to learn that you don't like cheese. It's, <laughs> it's just, just okay. okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's not, you know, it's aged 10 months. It probably could be aged another 10, honestly. We're gonna eat this cheddar and Parmesan. I think this is actually just cheddar. This is mostly just cheddar. I hate it. This is like- This tastes terrible. Mostly cheddar, not oh a good one. God. This is penalty box bad. This is just okay. Oh. That averages out to the Parmesan's being penalty box bad. All right, now we're doing the mystery cheeses. And by that I mean the cheeses that only had one in each category. We have the uh, Borgonzola. Gorgonzola, but more boring. It, yeah, it literally says imported soft ripened triple cream blue cheese. Oh, um, you know what? I really don't like blue cheese, so I actually am really not looking forward to this. Okay, well then don't eat it. Kristen's gonna do it. You know it's an option for everything we do, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hold on, I'm gonna Google Borgonzola. Yeah, what is the difference? Now I'm just like kind of intrigued. Borgonzola is just Gorgonzola, but in Canada. So it's Gorgonzola, but the Borgo family makes it, so it's Borgonzola. <laughs> That's very silly, guys. Actually, it's a pretty good cheese, though, I will say that. It's not funky the way the other blue cheeses are. The and Borgonzola, pretty good. Oh, this is Camembert. How is this different than the Brie? We'll find out. It tastes very similar to the Brie, which means it tastes decent. That's it's just okay. This is uh, the Menage cheese. This is good. This is okay. This is great. Yeah, it's, ooh. What do you think of it? I don't like it. Oh, well, you don't like cheese. I don't really like cheese. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> I asked you when you wanted to do cheese, and you're like, yeah. Yeah, I want to be a good partner in this. You are a good partner. Oh, This is good. <laughs> I think this is pretty good. Are we going to try another uh, uncategorized one? The Pepperoni pe marinara. This tastes like cold pizza when the cheese is congealed into the sauce. Okay. This is so weird because it's actually perfectly capturing like uh, the taste that it's trying to mimic, but I don't know. To what end? No, this is 3 a.m. sadness. This is good. I don't know who it's for though. This is just Asiago cheese. I hate it. Bye. I think it's probably not bad. This is trash. Anyway, yeah. raclette. Best serve melted? Well, you know, we're doing that. It's fine. Yeah. It's a real nutty piece of Play Doh. Coco Cardona? Wait, is this, a che is this chocolate cheese? Coco implies chocolate and there's brown specks in it. Thanks, detective. Wow, you investigated the mystery. <laughs> brown specks indicates chocolate. I don't taste anything. I love it. It's goat's milk cheese with a cocoa powder rind. It makes no sense. It is delicious. Uh, overall, miscellaneous cheeses, uh, yeah, yeah, we, okay. talk, we talked about them, yeah. it's okay. So the next category that we are gonna be consuming is the goat cheese category. This is the mm -hmm. tomato basil. I like it. Yeah, it's fine. You can put it on a salad. Yeah, or on like a bagel. This has a nice brightness to the cheese. The tomato, I think, really adds something. All right, uh, yeah, next one. Bad. This is original. I prefer the tomato one. I would go. No, this isn't bad either. I this is the uh, cranberry cinnamon cheese. This it's feels good. reminiscent of like Christmassy. It's really Christmassy. Yeah. It's this is blueberry vanilla. So this should be like a muffin type cheese. Mm. I like this one better than the, the cranberry. It tastes like cream cheese frosting with the like, sweetness. It tastes like blueberry cheesecake. Goat cheese. Plain. Pretty good, actually. Mm. I like that. Very tangy. Mm -hmm. like, so far, honestly, as a category, these are doing really well. Killing it. The goat cheese. Eggnog. Eggnog. I'm actually excited to try this because I, I think it's gonna be weird. These are fun because they have a personality. Yeah, it's just like, they're not just goats. They're goats with funny hats. See, th this is the other one where it's like, I'm excited to try it, but like, what is the market? Mm. 
I don't know. The, the eggnog flavoring this... is kind of weird. No. It makes me less confident for the gingerbread one, too. This looks like cookie dough. Let's hope it tastes like that. That's the other thing. It's like, would you, wouldn't you just eat gingerbread? Please eat, please be cookie dough. No. The gingerbread and the eggnog are penalty box bad, but the rest of them are really great. Pretty good. The penalty box kind of dipped it down. Yeah. So the next category is the Harvardi, and there's three flavors. There's dill, there's regular, and then and there's, there's jalapeno. jalapeno. The dill, I can already smell the dill, so this is I interesting. I hate dill as a flavor, so this should be interesting for me. Getting oh, I, you get the dill at the end. Oh yeah, the dill really is just a jump scare that really like yeah. <laughs> leaps out at you at the end. It's like dill. This is is just okay. This is the regular old Havarti. Okay, it's simple, it's palatable, decent. I like it better than the dill one because yeah, like, the dill, the one, dill one's kind of confusing. It's honestly like the regular except worse. The dill flavor is just like now with fifty percent less flavor than what you're used to. That's the that's the the, the dill. I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> Oh, well, you know it. I think that's gonna be actually the, the, the cold open. All right, this is the Havarti jalapeno. Oh, wow, the jalapeno comes in at the end. It's pretty it's good. good though. I, like good. I, like okay. I like this a lot, actually. The Havarti is pretty good. These are the Stiltons. These look like salad dressing labels. Yeah, these are weird. What? This is the blueberry. Ooh, this has is the white <laughs> Stilton with blueberries. It's a Dalmatian. Not an attractive cheese. Most cheeses aren't. Most cheeses are just like, hi. I'm not that. <laughs> I'm here for our date. No. Oh. This is, whoa. That is crumbly. That is nasty. And weird and like oily. The fruit is just bizarre. Are still supposed to be this crumbly? Maybe we're misunderstanding. No, this is nasty. Okay, yeah. This it's, is nasty. This is penalty box that's bad. That's pretty bad, yeah. Do we have to eat the other ones? Yeah. Well, we could, do you want me to just eat them? Yeah. Okay. This is a mango and ginger white Stilton. Better but still very weird. It's not even the fruit that's weird, it's the, the stilton, stilton itself. The fruit is honestly being held hostage by the cheese. That's accurate. No. Masquerade mango, what? What's going on here? It's just a little better. This is like just okay. Great. I'm not even gonna try the regular one. I'll try the regular one. It's white stilton cheese, but it's got lemon peel in it. It tastes like a lemon bar that's turned. I would say the Stiltons is a category. Penalty box bad. bad. This is the Rose All Day Fontina. This cheese is wearing like a cat suit. Like I don't know how to get into this packaging. That's thanks. Do you taste the Rose? No. I do taste the All Day though. I don't dislike it. It kind of just tastes like, it's not offensive to me. It's like sort of whatever. It just Fine. doesn't really taste like anything. Yeah, it's it's just okay. It's like- It's just your, you know, your average run of the mill, work a day, funky sock cheese. This is the, the, the just plain Fontina. Considering that how angry I am at cheese at this point. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. So I guess as a whole of Fontina, you're just okay. This is the feta category. Feta category. All right, so we're trying the feta chunk and brine. This is delicious. I think the brine, really adds to it. Because it makes it salty. Yeah. And like, mm, I think, ah, uh, mm. The brine really does make it taste a lot fresher. Mm, that's so good. I bet this is really good on shakshuka. This might be my one of my favorites, if not my favorite. So this is a flavored feta with tomato and basil. Last cheese. Last cheese, last cheese. Last cheese. Tomato and basil. Fine. I don't really taste the basil. I do taste the tomato a little bit. No, I don't like it when my f***ing cheese has basically glitter in it. Cheese shouldn't have glitter in it. No more. This is a message from the cheese council. The nice thing is we don't have to eat any more cheese today. Can you tell I'm losing my mind? Here's the thing about <laughs> today, guys. We thought cheeses was gonna be easy, but it was a little bit difficult to eat all these cheeses. It's not easy being cheesy. Uh -huh. I think most of the categories ended up in the pretty good Oh uh, Yeah, I would say the quality of the cheeses is actually quite high. I think there are some cheeses that are kind of bleh, like I think the Stiltons. Maybe Stiltons just- Maybe the Stiltons is the worst no, category. No, they were awful. Yeah, they were all pretty bad. But like the fondue was impressive. Wasn't impressed with the breeze. Did like the feta. Some of the weird little like, we made cheddar, but it has a flavor. Like those were kind of nonsense. Morganzel is bizarre. Weird. But ultimately like the cheeses were pretty good. Yeah. All these doing pretty well. What I will say is not good is eating 44 cheeses in like an hour and a half. No. Or 43. Sorry, Kelly, we don't know. 41? Let us uh, know if you enjoyed this, if you want us to try things a little bit more specific at other stores. Do you want us to try things that don't involve food? Let us know. We love trying things. We love trying things. We okay, love bye. You. Bye. bye.